I wanted to just briefly acknowledge that um, that Merrick uh, Garland was nominated as the Supreme Court Justice this past week by President Obama. Now, in most considerations, this man is considered a moderate. You know, we all knew that was who Obama was going to most likely nominate was a moderate person. Um, but, and, and let's also be honest, this is a man that even the Republicans at some point, you know, had even basically had saw as, you know, a person that they liked, that a person that they even would consider. In fact, I believe it was uh, Mitch McConnell that was even one of these these Republicans that said that they would have in, that they would have endorsed this man. So it seemed pretty cut and narrow, you know, nominate somebody that the Republicans would actually like, that they said they liked. Obama nominates him. Now the Republicans are basically saying, "Oh, well, we're not going to put that through. We're not going. We're gonna, you know, we don't want." Basically, they're trying to say, "We, you know, we don't want him." You know, they're going to say no to it, to this nomination. Now, I find this interesting, because again, this is the whole thing after the whole Justice Scalia thing, which, you know, if anybody knows anything about it, Justice Scalia uh, was an old fart that died about a month and a half ago, and I didn't really cover this because it was already pretty well covered by most media outlets. It was covered by just about every fucking political YouTuber from the far left to the far right, and I just didn't see the the need to to address it. And the only thing I'm really going to address here is basically the fact that the man died on his ranch. The conspiracy theories are rife saying, oh, he was murdered, Obama had him murdered, blah, blah, blah. And they're all using this under circumstantial evidence because of the pillow found over his head. I don't know about you folks, but a lot of times I like to drown out the noise of the fucking surroundings around me by putting a pillow over my head because, you know, you know it drowns out some of the noise. It, it, it's kind of like a natural noise cancellation. So, a lot of people sleep with pillows over their fucking heads at night. And the fact that this man died while on a hunting trip, I mean... Again, it's, you know, with the same logic, we could say that basically Dick Cheney, you know, when he shot his intern in the face, did it on purpose. Anyway, um, but the whole fact is, it was this whole conspiracy theory that, oh, Obama had Scalia murdered, and it's like, don't politicize Scalia's death, and then the Republicans turn around and politicize his death, and that's why Obama also didn't go to Justice Scalia's funeral because he didn't want to politicize the death. And then what did the Republicans do? They're like, why didn't you attend his funeral? So basically you can't win either way. And it's the same thing right on down to who the, basically he nominates to replace Scalia. He nominates a person that the Republicans endorsed. That they literally fucking endorsed a person that's a moderate, that's, you know, in fairness, probably even leans more conservatively, at least, you know, on when it comes to moderation, but he, he leans moderate. And he nominates this guy out of preference to appease Republicans who, again, have liked this man, have endorsed this man, you know, they've, you know, Garland was basically the best choice for the job, all things considered, given the the rampant politi politicalization of the whole bullshit going on with it. And the Republicans still don't want to accept the nom. It, it just goes to show that they don't want th they don't want this president nominating the, they don't want a democratically uh, a democratic party president nominating the Supreme Court Justice. They want their person to win the election so that that person can nominate them. And of course, de anybody watching this, right or left, is basically going to say, yeah, duh. 
so it's not even worth even really mentioning it. It's just the whole fact that they essentially want their person to win the election because they want to nominate that justice, and they want to wait until after the election to nominate the justice. But the problem is, is that we're still, what, seven, eight months away from the, the U.S. election, and then, and technically ten months away from the president actually being inaugurated, in that amount of time, we'd be stuck with eight Supreme Court justices. Eight to ten months without a Supreme Court, in fact, we'll just say ten months, because let's be honest, the person, Obama's term doesn't officially end until January 20th, 2017. So that's ten months with eight Supreme Court, Court justices, and basically either having to run the risk of deadlock and stalemate between, you know, between a four and four member fucking Supreme Court or having a SCOTUS that basically is inactive for the next ten months. Of course, then again, the rest of the government is pretty inactive anyway, so, yeah, I guess I could see, see your fucking logic in doing that. But that's the problem. This is... This is being made into an election year thing, and this is not an election year issue. This is something that needs to be handled now, and they're just butt hurt. And the right wing is just butt hurt because this is, you know, basically will be Obama's last uh, Supreme Court nom. You know, back in what was it, 2010 or whatever it is, uh, he nominated uh, Sotomayor to you know, to the Supreme Court, and the Republicans weren't thrilled with that. One, because she's a woman. Two, she's a minority. And th uh, three, minority is redundant. One, she's a woman. Two, she's Latina. And three, she was a Democrat. So, that right there was their trifecta right there. But now they don't want to... They don't want him nominating a person to replace Scalia because Scalia was basically the right-wing poster child for everything the Republicans fucking, you know, stood for. And now that one of their cons because their conservative seat is now pretty much guaranteed to be um, usurped by the by the Democrats, they don't want. Obama making the nomination. They want one of their people making the nomination. So because of this, they're going to basically stalemate for you know, they're going to they're trying to stalemate this and drag this out into an election year thing and which basically means dragging this out for at least 10 more months, which is ridiculous. And I love the hypocrisy about not politicizing Scalia's death. And yet you completely politicize the fuck out of Scalia's death. Even Fox News over-fucking-dramatizes and over-politicizes Scalia's death and over-politicizes and over-dramatizes this nomination process. It's all, it's all a power play and basically, you know, a infantile tantrum that the right wing is throwing. And they're not going to fucking stop until they, you know, until they get their way. Even if Obama has their way, they're going to bitch and moan and complain about it because, you know, that's just what the right wing does. So, I know I'm ad homing quite a lot in this, but <laughs> it's pretty factually based if you think about it. I mean, there's really a lot of logic in in all this. That's a, There's really no easy way of saying it. That's what the right wing is doing. They're politicizing the shit out of this and, you know, bitching and moaning and complaining that because their person is not being nominated. Actually, that's not true because technically uh, Garland is, de is technically the person that they endorsed and said that they would consider even putting on the Supreme Court, but Obama does it, and they're not having it. But yeah, if this was Trump or somebody else that was doing this, oh, he'd already this uh, Merrick Garland would have already been on the seat by now. 
So, yeah. I just find there's a lot of fucking idiocy that goes on with this. And this is also why, personally, I don't believe that any politician should have a say-so in who the Supreme Court Justice is. In my personal opinion, I've come to this realization that, it, that instead of having the executive make the decision having it go through the approval process of the Congress, which, let's be honest, is not going to get us anywhere anyway because they can't fucking agree on a goddamn budget every every freaking year. You know, they can't agree on shit. So how are the fuck are we going to have, you know, have a Supreme Court justice nominated? You know, not, not nominated, but even confirmed to the seat when the government is so ineffective it's not even funny and see this is why I personally believe that since it's going to be made into an election year issue the Supreme Court from here on out there should be some sort of reform constitutional reform or some referendum in which the American people can vote in their Supreme Court justices I also think that it's fair to say that the Supreme Court justices should have a term no longer than that of the president. So basically, you're in there four to eight years, and then after that, you can't serve on the Supreme Court any longer. I think that's a fair and democratic way of doing it. The people vote them. That per you know that person sits on you know on the bench for you know half a decade to a decade, and then they're gone. Instead of having to sit on the bench until they become old and reactionary and senile and they can't do their job properly. I mean, that's just me. I also personally believe that Congress should be li to limited to the same statutes as well per house. Um, so, because I don't really believe in having basically an oligarchy leading our country from the time they're 25 till the time they're, you know, Methuselah's age. Now, this sounds just like the bitching and ranting and maybe ignoramus mentality of a young person, but from a political standpoint, from a person that is going to inherit this country basically is part of the generation that will inherit this country eventually one day if not already I am concerned about a lot of these things and I personally believe that it's my generation's choice if not the next the generation ahead of me's choice to make the right decisions and begin this process of reform we need a de more democratic way of putting Supreme Court justices on there so no more nominations. It's an elect. People should elect their justices, and they should only and they should be term limited. Same with the Congress. But um, this video is mainly directed at the idea of the Supreme Court justices. Scalia died of natural causes on a hunting trip. Get over that that and quit with these fucking conspiracy theories. Usually with conspiracy theories, I like to see both sides of the story, but that one was so goddamn stupid, it's not even not even worth even considering the other side. And when it comes down to Scalia's death, yes, it shouldn't be politicized on either side. And when it comes to his replacement, it shouldn't be politicized either. Or drug out. Confirm a goddamn justice now and get over it and quit whining like a bunch of children. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.